have to go home. Ah, oh, the map kind isn't reset, it is what it is. Have to go home here nice and early doors. Somebody has to do it. It's just going to be one of these two now. Hydroelectric car point from map 1, not map 5, as the top would have you believe. That's just a shout out to the map 5 series we had between, uh, it was the last game of the day, the Vegas, Vegas and uh, LAG, which was a, a bit of a train wreck of a thing to be honest. It, it was kind of all over the place. Shout out if you were there, but it was, yeah, it was kind of all over the place this morning. It's a really long straight, like, uh, they were two, they were two game five matches. This morning, and, I mean, the stream ended up being nearly, I think, just short of two hours. It might have broke two hours, actually. Uh, I won't be able to find that with ease. Well, I will, I just need to open up my email. But still, it was a, it was a long old one. Second series didn't look. The first series was fun. It was thieves versus um, Boston? Yeah. Do you see where the mat where the mind like a sieve goes? Lag have just broke into P two by the way. While I'm trying to remember what happened. Literally 10 hours ago. Although when you put it like that, 10 hours does sound like a long time. That's a whole day. That'd be a whole last day. That's a good grenade. Yeah, there's the kill. The last one left, bit of reinforcement coming now. Ooh. With the pistol? Oh, okay. Espacito will steal the last one. What a start for Toronto. But, you know, LA Thieves, they went 2-0 up this afternoon against Boston. It went to round 5 in the control, and Thieves, I'm pretty sure, were 10 lives to 5. Going into the, whoa, going into the end game. One point left to be captured, and Thieves were 10 to 5. Jeez, that's pretty 10 lives to 5, and they somehow lost that. I, I don't know how- Ooh, game is struggling here. The Xbox hasn't even been on that long today. Drink went down the wrong way. Oh, I felt awful. <coughs> oh. All right. Anyway, Atlanta fears somehow in the lead again. Gills just ran into the hill with a knife and decided he owns it now. Oh God. Gil owns the entire lobby apparently, he's 13 and 5. Ugh. Jesus. I might not recover from that this evening. It's painful. Chula's trying to hold up play on the rotation and the... Oh, didn't do much other than just be there. Ultra slide on in, Rosario with a big first. Oh, 
Jesus. Big double from Pina. There's still a contest there. Not anymore. Pina shuts it down. It's not Mangilla again now. Magilla Cuddy. In the danger zone. Getting involved. Getting involved. Give him one more, sure. There we go. On the rotation of P1, and look at the spawns for Toronto. Gil's gonna be right here. He can maybe get a few seconds, although he's all by himself. And he's got to land all of Atlanta Fields to deal with. Tr throwing knife trade. And now with the base build, all eyes on Gwynard. But having a Fennec in that situation isn't ideal. An Ultra. I'm gonna close it out here. All the kill feed is purple. Skill 20 and 8. Having an insane performance right now. Still go. Still going. And that should be that. What a push to handle. And that's everybody dead. Toronto Ultra. Start it off with a dub. Huge for the purple ones. Huge from Gil. 22 and 9. He screen care. Too busy looking at other things. Phase. A beautiful start, but I'm gonna get down here. Get down, get down. Heard him. Couldn't do anything about it. Ah, oh, that's Poseidon left on the one before. I'm surprised he isn't on the other side of the country now. Though. Good round one from Fias. What can Ultra do on their first offense? Mom's gonna head to A. Brown leads the charge, Pina in the middle of the map. He's gonna find out Gwinner's gonna swing as well. Not the right idea. Oh, it's all left on pure chillis. He already thankfully has a kill this game, so. He's on track to not have a triple negative performance. Toronto Ultra basically have the exact same round as FaZe did. Really? They're, uh, they're just kind of identical in the end. Harry Maguire with an own goal for England. He is just so good at football. I can't wait to go and watch that back in a minute. After this map, that's what we'll do. In between map 1 and 2, we'll go find a clip of Harry Maguire's own goal. And we'll all laugh at Harry Maguire. Can you tell I'm a Man United fan? Ooh. Tree, it's all across the board. I mean, it's all left on Gil, there's one. Gonna be in the small box. Gil knows the bomb's down though, so he knows Rosario has to come over this way, but he didn't read Rosario coming back on him. What a play from Rosario. And with that, my controller batteries are low. I need to switch. So your screen is going to be covered for just a moment.
No problem. No problem. It's a big play for Mazzari. Ultra giving themselves an opportunity here. Didn't necessarily take a big kill from Verano. Gwynard's here in the middle and he knows there's a... Well, I mean, done nothing with it. He is already going to head on the rotation and this is a game. See that can be 101. Verano's been spotted on the angle. He has found out, but the trades are there. And they might just push him in small, which is not what you want to do. It's a free kill for Rosaria. He's going to have another one on his left, but the throat goat, the clutcher, comes on in to tie us up once more. I think that shambolic um, Toronto versus Minnesota series is up on YouTube now. I say shambolic because it was shambolic for me. I messed up. That's a throwing knife miss and not what you want to see. Toronto. <sighs> That's... I think Toronto were a bit I think they lost the run on themselves that round. You know what? So far game of the Sailor S and D that I've seen in a long time. A long, long time. Oh goodness, this chillers can't go triple nag. Mathematically impossible. Kutcher is triple nag at the minute, so. It's not ideal. Can he find a kill here? All the way down mid. Yep, oh my. Oh my god, shit. Man, is hurting right now. Who? Okay, he's shooting ghosts. Gwynard. Alone in the B side. Can we find one with a fanic? No. It's all going to be on Purpina on the 1v3. Chance here. Nope. Round 7 it is. It's been offense, offense, offense. I guess the question is who's getting offense for round 7? Is that going to be the difference between 2-0 and 1-1 in this series? Offense goes the way of Ultra. That's a huge result. From the Kings of the North. And um, what is the game plan here? Bomb well, might still head A in that setup. It's hard to tell sometimes. No, actually, it's going to be a B hit. It's going to be a B hit. Gonna get spotted. Gwynard's gonna get knocked. Rosario, he's left alone here. He's getting pressed from all angles. Finds one with a knife, and to be fair, you'll take that every day of the week. Chillis on the come around isn't gonna catch the bomb going down, but he might find one in the. Oh wow! Verano's just pooed on him. I'm Pena. Seven and four. Up for what? Walks through the door, finds Esposito. Verano's there too. Oh my god, through the door, it's a 1v1. Pena. Oh my god. Oh my god. As speechless. As speechless. 
啊，哇，怎么样？And I wish somebody would inject fortress with some of that because, yeah, so, dude, this was this was played at some point. I can't remember when it was played. And it, uh, it was not fun. It, it was, it was not fun. I don't even really need to switch perspectives here. A points getting captured nice and peacefully. And now we get two minutes ten. Of our lives at B point. Oh my god, first push, please. Ah, and there we go. First push. In the mud. On the boys. Winnered. It's just letting a bullet whiz by his skull. For no reason. Gil. Playing the high line. Finds one. Alright, that's the state of getting aggressive. Kutcher were one of his own, Rosario fought by the way they decided against him. It's like the most split pushes in the history of pushes. Like, it sort of requires something like that to happen. Oh my god, the fact he needed one more there is insane. There we go. There we go, another two dead. But they move upstairs like fucking snails. Bernard's reloading. The Sigma 50. Finds one. Tina picks up another one. Gil was getting aggressive on the other side, and would y'all look at that. Round one about to be nice and wrapped up here. Lovely thermite. Somehow doesn't kill Gil. He's on 5 HP for that sake. <sighs> it's... You know what? Gil is done with potentially, you know, 30, just under 30 seconds left on the clock. No, Pina's just going to be annoying, isn't it? You needing it? <coughs> That's me still coughing from choking on my drink earlier. Not good. Not good. Oh hey. You know what? That's three minutes of our lives gone. We've only got to do that like another five times. And defense goes to kills. Remember, so Toronto at the minute have 12, 14 to 13, 16, 20. Toronto with a 7 life advantage coming into this. It's a nice first blood. Can I say they'll find anything early doors at B? Here we go. If B gets captured first, things get excitement. They're lovely shots. They're lovely shots. They make me feel good. Oh my god, that's all four dead. They're spawning out A. Uh, Gil is for some reason having a war with somebody in the bottom here. It's just, it's so unnecessary. Ah, there goes all the capture points. Well, I, I presume, actually, first tiebreaker's Tix. I don't know if Tix is the base selling for tiebreakers. I don't touch that because... Why would I care that much? It'll either be kills or Tix. Into your own grenade. Woo! 
Ferrano somehow have a 5 life advantage here and they're about to get a minute extension and... They don't want to go Oh, okay. Throat coat. Unless somehow they choke a 2 it would be wildly impressive. Alright. we go. Big up Tirana. They've only gone and done it. Only gone and won an offensive round. On Fortress, and this might just have sped up our whole day. Toronto just have to do exactly what we did round one. And we might be out of here in some time. Which is crazy to think about. Again. We witness the offensive team get the kills at the B point. And then decide to actively run away from the B point. Death knife. Oh, why are Toronto getting so aggressive? No, no, no. Oh my god. Bought yourself so much time with this time. Oh my god, okay, it's a four life advantage here. Make it five. Ah, oh dear. I really thought. Okay. Okay. Okay, Esposito. Okay, Esposito. Imagine he world starred him with a throwing knife. Oh my god. the support. Eight lives to six. Just gotta hold on. There's some sharp shots from Peanut. Man's having a great day. This is not holding on, boys. This is the opposite of holding on. This is this is fully letting go. I want there's two. All right, throw a coat. Okay. Okay, Gil. Oh, don't think about that Gil, where are you shooting? Okay, 1v4. Never believed in a man so much. Never wanted a man so much. Okay, yeah, no, I, I've lost. I've lost my belief. Okay, right. <laughs> uh... He actually hit his shots on the first guy. That's a th a free two v one. Ultra back on offense. I mean, to be fair, we've seen two offensive round wins after you know the last Fortress experience was five defensive wins. And they were all literally the exact same thing over and over again, so, you know. Maybe that game was just a bad game. Maybe.
Either way, tech-wise, I, I think even if Toronto lose this, they're gonna get defense round five, which, I mean, is still favorable, right? You just gotta not fuck up. See, like, you've gotta, you've gotta be on defense in this position. 17 lives to 16. Kind of thing, you know? The defense here, you're loving life. Oh, did so many people. Oh my god, everybody's dead. Oh my god, and they've all spawned out A. Eh. Kutcher. You own this door. No, don't. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Second tick, wonderful. Bit of support. Kill the support. the stand, kid. Oh, just, just shoot. Aww. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, one more. Yeah! Come on, Esposito. Oh my god, I thought, no way, he didn't die. He died half a second too late. Oh my god, I near broke my foot standing up, Esposito. What a play, what a play. Flip it and ship it. The Esposito man. Guaranteed to get any airtime. You know what I mean? We off. Here we go, Toronto. I haven't really talked about this. Oh, four dead. Alright, try again, Fizz. Put in another fine coin. Spirit. Ah, see. See, all they needed was a point. There you go. No problem. You fight for that angle to kill Silvers. Where? Like, all of the realm. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Strange. Could you just spawn? Okay, can we can we talk about the fact that Kutcher has just spawned in the kitchen when the other three players on her, on his team are currently all in P2, and yet he still managed to spawn kitchen. This game makes so much sense. It honestly, never fails to amaze me. Kutcher is just solo manning P1 right now. He might as well. One or ultra. Healthy lead coming over to P2, and I mean, this is screaming at the break. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's screaming at. Oh god. God, it's there. It's the instant break. Man. Oh, it's in the point. On the back steps, Herrera wins it. Miller picks up another. Miller has to reload, and he's pinched from all angles. About this coming out from the fan like Kelly's gonna fall as well and Fee is do a good job to hold on there. Jesus Christ. Kinda brutal. Swantis picks up one, runs out of ammo before he can get the second. Great hold by Atlanta Fee's real nice hold here. I'm under a lot of pressure. They've managed it brilliantly. They've got 20 seconds. Toronto are going to get the scrap time. The Fees are going to get the rotation. Oh well, it's a good thing more than Perez went for rotation as Perez blows himself up. Also now means that Silvers has a... Oh my god, alright. Okay. This all goes wrong very quickly for Atlanta Fees once more. Where have we? Oh god, the body stacking's in now. Miller's on a five. Pina's triple neg, Perez double neg, Fees are kinda in the mud right now. They are kind of in the mud, Miller with another double. 
card that he had puts in a good couple of shots I'm gonna find it. We had over the P4. He is kind of split at the minute. And I think Toronto were aware of that. That's why they're hanging about mid. Just a moment longer. Fizz do well there. Fizz do very well. And they hold the point. So that noise, yes. Maybe not for much longer though, as there's the break. Toronto into the hill. Miller. In the close arch. Oh my god, that's a lovely three piece from Miller. Kutcher. Trying to find the angle from the back. I was looking at a sniper. Herrera through the knee. You've got no bullets in that gun. Miller just picked up another three piece. 20 and 9. You're insane, Jarvis. You're insane. It's okay though. Fears have the rotation. And it's a healthy rotation. Got the time to be had here. Fears got the hits. Silver's just gonna be there, but it's okay. From the other side comes Cervantes. Finds one. Finds two. Breaks into the hill, third to be had. Pina, very weak, and Miller picks up the trade. Trust that one will be there for you when you need a nose. Can't win that one, though. He is still alive here. And still definitely within a winning position. Fias can hold the rest of this time, which they should do now. We're looking at a 10 second match here. 10 point game. Kelly and Miller trying to play hold up in mid. And maybe Toronto have put a bit too much emphasis in this hold up play. Because that sort of collapses and you're not there that much ahead. Pina the star of the show. He's going to get the kill. Time's going to start to tick away for Atlanta Fias. And that's where I, that's the issue that I had with it. All three other players of Atlanta now in the country. And we could be looking at a wonderful Toronto throw here. Hello. Okay, your marks runs out. Fias take the lead for the first time. This entire map, I'm pretty sure. Herrera trying to get aggressive. Both need to reload and Herrera reloads faster. And look at P1. Pina's already in here. And this smells of curtains. For Toronto Ultra. Although that's 3 dead. We'll look at the picture. Which is all you need though, Kelly. The last man up for Toronto wins it. And that needs to be perfect. But he's getting pinched from both sides, is R. Kelly. Not that R. Kelly. Just R. Kelly. Miller. Behind a box in a hard place. All of Fia's in front of him. Silver's trying to provide the cover fire over the top. He's been knocked. Miller trying to just hold on for dear life. Somehow is kind of making it work. But that's going to be it, surely. And it is it. At one of Fia's. Pull another one back. And who would have thought it? Let's go to a third game five of the day. A third game five in a row. Bomb's gonna head to A. Gil, kind of not in the play here. I don't know what he's doing over there. Verano tries to hit the throwing knife. Not going to hit it. Bomb going to head down. The pitcher's actually coming around the back. The pitcher's here to surprise them all. He's fine too. 
There's a third in the room, can't get it. Rosario catches him out in time. But huge play from Kutcher. Keeps Toronto's chances of this round alive. There's going to be a big fight here because Chulis is going to be looking for one now. It's all on Rosario. Goes for the trade immediately. Wonderful. Gil is honestly probably not making this in time. No, he's not. Wow. Okay. Gil's just mild. Well. No. He has it. Free kill for the Atlanta Fears player. Why not? There's no streaks in this. Let's just stop Padre's eye and let's give him a nice kill. Why not? Blood all over the backpack. Damn. But, the offensive first round. Nothing too abnormal in the end. Big eyes on Cholus here, what can he find? Gets a one for one trade. Big fight already on the other side and again it's the thrift goat. Making the plays. Rosario's on the early rotation, he's got about 50 doors to open while he gets there. Verano's going to be here with that as well. Big fight and Verano with a knife. Thought Pina might have spotted someone down the back alley. He didn't. But we should be all square once more. They went round 7 in map 2. They might be going the same direction here in map 5. Nada. for. Just nada. Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire. Maguire's the last two goals have been for Sevilla and for Scotland. Wow, it really is helpful. That's a big first blood for Fias, and Gil's going to be here watching as well, and he can't make anything of it. Esposito going to try a couple of them this time. He can find one. Verano falls though, and Esposito all by himself. Does anybody overextend the chance? So bomb plunger's gonna be denied. Not gonna find anything more. He is still managed to use the numbers game. Pretty darn well. Another round coming up, another offense for Ultra, and it looks like it's heading to B this time. Rosario has a big job. Rosario is dead. He is dead. Can Pina find anything? Big shot. Kutcher's there as well, but a good finish from Kutcher. Finds both in the round. 3v2. This is going to be the first one coming through Baltimore, and she's got Gwynard tightly behind them. So they can double kill this pretty nicely. There's one. Gwynard with a machine pistol. Uh, you would have had, you should have had those players doing opposite jobs, to be honest, because if those guns are swapped about, he will have all the chance in the world. 
The machine pistol is definitely winning the close range gunfight. And if you hit as many shots as you did with the machine pistol, as you did with the machine pistol with the LMG, I think it was, or maybe it was an AR. I don't know what it was. You would have got the kill. And that leaves it two v one. I don't know about you, but those odds sound pretty good. Kutcher. Be huge the play is going to be turned around though and he's surely going to be spotted and he is and oh my god okay one on the board i don't know who is shooting anymore but bomb's going to go down there for atlanta if he is Verano with a signal 50 esposito with an m4 Verano nice and early on the rotation. I don't know if they're ready for it. And Verano decides to go backwards a bit. And Verano decides to do a little door dance. And Verano dead. Oh, those shots are extremely shaky in phase. 3 2 up. So let's, let's just briefly mention, you know, the permutations of this series, right? We're at the very end, but, and we haven't really talked about it. Atlanta Fias win. They carry on in the tournament, and they keep fighting for that top seed in the major. Currently 20 points behind New York. And if they both tie, then it's going to come down the map count. But, you know, that's something I'll worry about come the time. If I need to... If Fias win... And Toronto lose, and this is going to be a bit tight before long. Finds one, Verano finds two. Pina, he's coming around to try and find something. You got to find nothing, and we're going around seven. Unless Chulos pulls off a 1v4. If these win, they carry on, they fight for that top seed, which means that Toronto would lose. And if Toronto lose, they finish on 30 points. Which, looking at the way things are working out, isn't necessarily the safest place to finish because we could end up with a lot of people on 30 points depending on how things fall if toronto win these are out they're not going to get top seed but they're going to be comfortably in winner's bracket and also toronto would get that 10 points and would bring them up to 40 which should definitely definitely be safe for winner's bracket And we're going to find out what one of those two things are going to happen right now. It goes all the way. Game 5, round 7. These two teams have been tight the whole way through. Fias have the offence though. So it's advantage Atlanta. Esposito has the wrong gun for the job. Somebody manages to find a kill. That's impressive. Gil, can he pick up anybody? He's got pinched from behind. Verano has to find one. He does. There's another one to be found. He finds him as well. It's all on Chillis. Chillis getting shot from behind. His position's known. Verano hasn't spotted him. Oh my god. 1v1. Chillis is going to go for the plant. He's going to go for a reload with three bullets needed. I hate life. that when crucial series end like that yeah but, you know if something like that was to happen in like a major final i honestly might consider just replaying the round not gonna lie 